What's up guys, John here from the Killer Bits and I'm back with another first impressions and today I'm taking a look at Brigador, formerly known as Matador, from the guys at Stellar Jockeys. This is a isometric vehicle combat game I suppose is the best description. Basically we get to pilot big ass mechs and tanks and god knows what to blow shit up and that's as cool as it sounds trust me i mean it's got a very cool aesthetic to it all you might not guess it from this very very simple menu screen but it is early access as you can see up here it is an early access title i think it hits early access on the 20th i'm not quite sure because on steam it's saying 16th but every other kind of press release and all that saying 20th so i will double check that but yes it's early access so it does feel a little incomplete at the moment but it's got a lot of potential, I, I reckon. We can see here the development log. Next in, next uh, major system integrating ambient sounds. And then we've got weapon revisions, new UI and all that kind of thing. Settings, as I say, it's isometric. So it's essentially a 2D game. So we have got very, very kind of basic visual settings. We've got separate audio sliders for well, the audio. But yeah. They, they might tweak that with further patches as they develop, but the the aesthetic is very, very cool. Um, I'll show you the tutorial just to get you a, a sense of it. And these are an example of one of the mechs we get to pilot. And the whole game's got this kind of retro 90s dystopian type thing going on. Some people have said it's kind of very rem reminiscent of kind of the original Syndicate games. And right, okay, our objective is to sneak past the turrets. So middle mouse button, engage cloak. And we get to squidge. Yeah, we squidge some guys. And then we get make our way past. Space, we get to stomp stuff. Like so. <laughs> stomp more stuff. Now, the trickiest thing is because it's isometric, but it's got these kind of tank controls, it's it's a bit finickety on how to get around the place it does take some practice once you get there it's relatively straightforward oh and we get two for one there we go and now we can shoot stuff but our best bet is still just to stomp the yard there we go and then we can make our way through and pick up more stuff there's our primary weapon filled and go and get our secondary real good now i didn't mean to do that yes everything blows up like the pipelines yes you don't want to be anywhere near the gas pipelines as you <laughs> detonate them uh, and as i say the, the the tank controls are tricky you have to basically keep an eye on where your kind of pilot light is so obviously we've got like separate mouse control for our actual gun turret but more often than not, especially when you start getting surrounded by enemies and you're trying to run away, but also shooting them, it can get a little tricky, especially if you kind of find yourself behind cover, behind buildings or trees or stuff like that. Oh, blow up the orbital gun. There we go. So, I mean, the pilot light thing is a, is a nice subtle way of telling which direction you're pointing but it could probably do with some kind of like ui overlay so you can actually tell when you're behind cover what you're actually direction you're pointing in and we'll just head for the exit so yeah that's the, that's the tutorial basically give me a a rundown of how to control it and as i say the controls are a bit tricky to get used to but once you do you can kind of relatively easy oh no i didn't mean to launch again oh well uh go back uh, there we go back right we want a new contract and this is where we get to see all the different vehicles so as i say we've got um, mechs we've got tanks we have lighter weight mechs we have big ass tanks and we also have these hovercraft and unlike the tanks and the mechs these actually control a little different i will show you but it's not got a lot of health, so I'm liable to die quite quickly. So, yeah, these actually control with the mouse. So basically, W 
is forward, but it goes forward wherever you're pointing. So it's a bit more like a traditional... This that does actually remind me more of stuff like Jungle Strike and Desert Strike and things like that. The piloting the helicopters in those, it this feels very much like that. Oh, okay, we've got incoming. They obviously these are a bit more nimble, but the sacrifice there is we have next to no health. Let's just see if we can squidge the, the troops here, yeah. and we'll blow up the. Orbital cannon, come on, there we go. Oh, all oh right, we can get ammo. Oh, oh, there we go, blow that up, yes. So, yeah, the idea is don't get surrounded because then things get go really badly hot. But, no, we have got a bit maneuver more maneuverability than them, but we only have limited ammo. Uh, okay, run away, run away. Uh, let's see if we can blow this up. Oh, too close to it. As I say, next to no health, and you don't want to be next to anything explosive. But that is the hovercrafts. Um, you've obviously seen the mechs. Let's try basic tank. Now, as you'd imagine, these have a bit more health. The green bar is actually the health. And the blue bar is shield. You can actually pick up extra shielding as you go along by blowing up certain enemies. But you can't repair your health. You'll always have the same amount of health, and once that's gone, that's it, you're dead. And I've discovered your best bet is actually to treat this almost like a, a stealth game. So basically, you kind of creep around the edges, try and pick off your enemies, and try not to get surrounded. So what we could do here is just try and sneak in. They, they look like they might blow up. Yes. So let's let's stick around the edge. Okay, right. There we go. We're not doing too badly. Uh, okay, try not to drive into stuff. As I say, that's, that's, that's the tricky thing. When you start trying to focus on where am I going to shoot and then suddenly realise you're driving into walls. Now, as... The objectives for these maps, if you look in the top right hand corner, we have like three objectives. You only actually have to complete one of them before the exit opens. This explosive, yeah that's explosive and that blows everything. Oh yes, we took out two t orbital cannons with just one shot. That's impressive, oh but we've got next to no cover now. Let's see if we can... Oh, okay. Next to no cover, but I managed to drive into the one thing that's still standing. Okay, we'll take rearm. Oh, oh, okay. Try not to get surrounded. As I said, the the small troops are easy enough just to drive over. Uh, health is depleting. What we could do with is enemies leaving blue, blue blobby things. Blue blobby things are additional health, well, additional shielding anyway. Uh, okay, try and run away, run away. I think we need to, yeah, get the F out of dodge. No, uh, no. Right, oh, okay. Getting surrounded. Not got a lot of health left. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, see, as you can see, the, the exit isn't open yet. I was just trying to lead these away so we can actually... Oh, there we go, got some health. There we go, some more health, well, more shields anyway. And die, 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 die. There we go, oh, and, and, and some ammo. Uh, we'll just run over those. Oh, and contract loss, there you go. But that gives you an idea of what the gameplay is like. Uh, as I say, it's very, very cool. I, I am digging the aesthetic, I'm give, digging the, the, the gameplay. You know me, I like just blowing shit up. Let's get the big tank out. Yeah, uh, we'll go back out into the outer city, except launch. So yes, this is very, very cool. As always, I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can find out more information. Uh, let's sneak around the edge. Oh, I shouldn't have blown that up. Uh, we are. There we go, okay. 
Let's see if we can make it all the way around the edge without... There we go. Uh, drive over everything. We're bigger than everyone. Let's see if we can just drive over everything. Uh, uh. We did this massive tank, but we have these piddly little guns. I'm really going to have to practice with all the different loadouts. No. Nope. Just drive over them. Drive over them. Yeah. So, like I said, I am I am digging this. I'm getting lost in it. And I think you guys will as well. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find out more information. And if you like the video, obviously you can like the video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Or you can get in touch with us on Twitter at the Kilobits or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the Kilobits. And if you want to help support the show, obviously you can do by subscribing. If you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this, obviously you can subscribe. Let your friends know if this is the kind of thing they might enjoy as well. Or if you want to go above and beyond, you can do by um, maybe chucking us a dollar. You can do so over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the kilobits. Oh, where well, I said I shouldn't get myself boxed in, I seem to be just doing so. And I seem to be being mowed down by these kind of shock troopers. Uh, there we go. We'll sh shoot him. There we go. Go and get the shields. Go and get the shields. Oh, more of these little guys. Yeah. Just run over them. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No. There we go. Oh, health's quite low. Oh, well. But, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend checking it out. Oh, well. I end with a bang. What else? What, what more do you expect from me? All right, I will catch you later, guys. Bye.